welcome to my channel. If you're interested in fashion, lifestyle, and all things girly, please continue watching. So today I am going to talk about the Chanel boy bag. In particular, it will be this medium Chanel boy bag. Um, this is the old medium size. I think Chanel boy bag comes out with a couple of different sizes. There's the small, which is very tiny, kind of like a mini boy bag. And then this is the next size up. This is the one size bigger than the small size. And then the next one up is the new medium, which is a slightly larger size of this boy bag. And then there's also a large size. So today I'm going to talk about this bag, uh, what I think about it, the reviews of this bag, wear and tear, and do I think this is a good investment. So now first let's talk about the structure and the details of this bag. This is um, a 2018 spring, sorry not spring, the fall collection. And it comes out with this um, kind of looks like an exotic skin, but it's actually not. This is a crumbled gold skin. So you can see um, there is crumbling texture. There's basically wrinkles all over this leather and it's in a gold and black kind of a tie-dye or leopard um, kind of design on this middle compartment in this middle area. And it has the antique gold hardware and you open it. This is just one flap. This is one flap and this is the black leather, black calf skin, I think. And here on the inside, this is just one big pocket. It does have this little um, cloth inner pocket inside and that is it. On the bottom, you can see there is this middle stitching to stitch the two pieces of leather together. And it features this very chunky gold chain. It, it is also antique gold, so you can see a little bit of the black, uh, black oil slick, is it called oil slick? Black rusty paint on it. I think it's on purpose. And also this strap has a leather shoulder strap. It is actually not adjustable, even though you see like these two tabs. I don't think you can pull it out. It's not easy to pull out. Maybe you can just move one to the other, but overall you cannot really adjust the length of the chain too much. And yeah, so I got this back um, when, uh, when it was 2018. At the time, I think this looks like an exotic skin, but this is not an exotic bag. This is just a goat skin, so it has a regular handbag price tag, so I really liked it. And in terms of the wear and tear, I think this bag has been holding up really well. Although I do worry that the crumble lamb skin is going to dry out over time and peel off. That is one concern that I have. So usually I take it out from time to time to wear it sometimes, so it gets some of like the wear and use and touch instead of just drying out on the shelf. And also, if you can see the middle flap, sorry, not the middle flap, the flap right here, I don't know if it shows up, but there is also a couple of scratches here. So there's definitely wear with this calf skin. It is actually more uh, delicate than you think because I think I got this from the boutique and it was the new season at that time and it already has a couple of scratches when I get it home. So this is not very, this is not a carefree bag. Also this flap is also easy to get scratches and it doesn't really go away after a while. Um, so yeah, there, this is something to think about. Also, there is one time when I was storing this bag, I accidentally had the chain kind of pressing underneath the bag in the dust bag. So the bag was sitting on its chain for probably a month or so. When I took it out, there was an indentation on the bottom of the leather. So I was really worried at the time that the indentation is going to leave, uh, it's not going to go away. but. But after like, I set it out for a while, just let it sit on the shelf and let it expand, it seems to go away. So if you're storing this bag, you need to be careful about where to put the chain because this is a very heavy chain. 
and also this is a very heavy, heavy bag. If either of one like go on top of the other, and when you're storing it, and it after a while you will see something indenting another. So this is something to keep in mind. Of. And I have also seen reviews and also some of the other handbags, even in the boutiques, that these corners do wear a lot. These corners sometimes rub because they're protruding out, um, like the structure of the boy bag, they have the flaps protruding out. These corners wear a lot. And when I'm wearing this bag, whenever I sit it down, whenever I just wear it, and sometimes I wear it out and kind of bump into things, these corners are the first ones to get wear. And yeah, so if you want to look at the condition of a boy bag and see if they're well preserved or not, the first thing you should inspect are the corners. So there is a lot of things to, be, uh, to keep in mind of in terms of this bag. So as far as how this bag goes with different outfits, I don't think this bag goes with a lot of different outfits. It's not a very easy bag to style with. I think I need to plan my outfits a certain way, a certain casual edgy way um, in order to wear this bag. And also certain color palettes don't go with this loud color. Even though it's black and gold, it's very classic. But my wardrobe is very neutral, very pastel, sometimes very girly. I like beige and warm colors. So this color palette doesn't really go well with a lot of stuff. Also, this bag is not definitely not an evening bag in my opinion. First of all, because it's edgy design and a bulkiness design. I don't think it's very feminine. And therefore, I think it's more, it has a very cool girl vibe. And I don't think this goes well with an evening style outfit or evening style attire. So this is a strict day bag use kind of a bag. But this one is actually very comfortable when you're wearing it with the leather strap. Unlike the classic flap, and I'll show you. The classic flap has this chain, chain shoulder strap, which digs into your shoulder after a long time, and you cannot do crossbody with this medium flap. However, with the boy bag, you can crossbody it, no problem. It has a very generous length. And also, you can wear it one shoulder, two shoulder very comfortably. Um, when I go out and go shopping and go to places, if I'm, if I'm walking around a lot, I will choose the boy bag. This is one of the more easier, comfortable to wear bags in my collection, in my opinion. So let's talk about prices. Right now, the boy bags are selling for $5,000. This size, the, the old medium size is selling for $5,000 US dollars in the US. When I bought it, it was selling for $4,500 before tax. So yeah, after a couple of years, this bag has already gone up in value. So if I ever want to resell, that's not an issue. Although I do see that boy bags do not hold their values as good as the classic flap. I think due to the fact that because a lot of boy bags have loud color palettes like this one, a very unique design, I think boy bags usually are the, the more fun and loud designs in Chanel. So. I think different people will have a different taste for different handbags versus I think classic flap is always certain neutral colors or certain classic colors and a lot of people find it accept, um, more acceptable versus um, the boys are usually really loud and it's very hard to find. It's harder to find customers who would purchase it. And so usually I think boy bags don't resell as well as a classic flap. Although right now, because Chanel is doing a price increase upcoming really soon, if you already have a classic flap, I would recommend you go, go with the boy bag, of course. But if you don't have the classic flap um, and you're debating between the classic flap or the boy bag, I would actually suggest to go with the classic flap bag. I think this is, you will never go wrong with this bag. It's much easier to wear and it's more hard wearing than the structure of this bag and it has more resale value in the medium flap. 
So yeah, here is all my opinion on the Chanel medium boy bag. Please let me know if you have other questions and I'm gonna go ahead and do a matcha for you.